may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. we got a lot of stuff to cover, there is a lot of stuff coming out, it's just wrapping my mind around everything that's coming out. Alright, first of all, let's jump in, Keegan has a lot of updates, and uh, he's talking about in the coming hours, now this is coming out from Iran's international news, so what they're saying in the coming hours, the world will witness extraordinary scenes of very important developments, as Iran State TV anchors said in a live program fo uh, focused on Tehran's retaliation, which we'll see. It says Israel's media, Iran's attack will begin in the next few hours. We're still waiting to see. Now, it's getting early in the morning there, so I'm still I'm kind of weary to say that it's going to happen tonight. It's 9-7 here. They're seven hours ahead, and they usually like doing it at night time, so... We'll just wait and see. Uh, let's see. Uh, will the Great War uh, kick off in the next 24 hours or so, or will Iran wait one to two weeks so Iran has enough time to have a nuclear weapon? That has got to be the biggest joke of all time. They've been saying now for I can't tell you how many years they've either got a weapon, they just came out and said they had a weapon a couple months ago, now they don't have a weapon, then they say they do have a weapon, then they say, I mean, these people can't tell the truth, so Lord only knows. Tehran has rejected all global uh, mediation uh, efforts and softened its response to Israel, has, blown, uh, has ignored all global uh, mediation to stand down since yesterday. In other words, nobody's answering the phone calls. The latest reports still indicate that they could kick off it in the next couple of hours in the Saturday time frame. Uh, as the three days of uh, mourning come to a close, Iran has coordinated with the Houthis in Yemen, them, them blowfish, and all Syrian and Iraq factions to launch up to 1,500 missiles and 1,000 drones against Israel and a part three Jennifer tree. As a scale, uh, eight times larger than the April 13th and 14th. Uh, this will be coordinated to come wave after wave to overwhelm uh, Israel's air defense system, but they kind of forget the biggest air defense system they have is called God. Hmm. Can't overwhelm that one. And they kind of always don't give God any credit for anything, really. It's been way too quiet until uh, now the Islamic Republic of Iran channel officially announced that Tax against Israel will begin in the next coming hours. So like I said, we're still waiting to see. See what else we got here on tap. Oh, I want to bring it up. Now, somebody mentioned the other night, I was talking about glorifying. I did mess that up for some reason. That's not what I was trying to say. I was talking about us, you know, building each other up, giving each other hope, and completely messed that up. That was my fault. That was about three videos ago, but that was me. Like I said, I'm a man. I make mistakes. I'm not. I, I'll admit it. I do that every once in a while. I will say something stupid. And that was one of those times. It says the U.S. Roosevelt has arrived to the Straits of Hamus, opposite of Iran. So right now we're watching the uh, the Persian Gulf. They've talked about using it as a choke point and literally choking that off, which would mean oil and gas go pfft. now. We're going to talk some more about that, about these oil wells in Iran, because it's going to get interesting. Israel's Air Force uh, uh, forces short time ago struck Syrian air base near the border of Lebanon. That's often used by Hezbollah. So there's attacks already going on back and forth. I've got the app, and it's been quiet, so there's not been anything coming across into Israel. Hamas managed to fire a single rocket in Rafah as southern, uh, as, as southern 
Israel has no damage or injuries reported. Let's see what else have we got here? Let's see, the stocks are still in the doing very badly. Let's see, the streets of Tel Aviv are completely devoid of movement and people. Let's see, there was some other stuff. Let's see, breaking Israel and U.S. are preparing for a unprecedented Iran retaliatory strikes on Israel as soon as this weekend, which we're looking at right now. Tehran uh, stonewalls diplomats trying to prevent regional middle war. It's too late for that, I do believe. Uh, I want to give out a shout out to uh, to the truth seeker John fourteen sixteen Jason K. Uh, I love listening to you. If you don't have him, you need to subscribe to Truth Seeker John fourteen six Jason K. Love the channel. Love the channel. Great man of God. And tells it the way it is that we're out of time. Sees the Air Force attacked on the border crossing in Becca in northeastern Lebanon. In the past, we have seen such attacks that stated that the unloading point and continued in the convoys and vice versa. Uh, more threats from Russia. That's all they do. According to the Wall Street Journal, U.S. and Arab diplomats attempting to hold back channel negotiations with Iran in hopes to prevent a large-scale attack. Uh, there's an angry silence from Iran and Hezbollah. They're probably hiding in the rat holes. There's no point as we'll cross the red lines. Yeah, they did that when they killed the kids. But nobody ever talks about what they do that makes Israel retaliate. They kind of always leave that out. Ain't that something? You know, the devil thinks we're all idiots, but we're not. At least those are know what's going on. Secretary uh, has ordered the U.S. Abraham Lincoln. Uh, we talked about that. Now, this is interesting. North Korea leader Kim Jong-un, we will always stand by Iran and respond decisively to any threat to an ally. So Rocket Man is getting excited. We warned that the mercenary of global uh, imperialism, namely Israel, making... Uh, against making mistakes. This is a guy that has his own people in slavery and they, they're starving to death. Really? This guy's got an opinion? Really? Oh, my goodness. We do live in the last days. Last days of idiots. Let's see. Breaking. Let's see. Uh, Israel has uh, deployed U.S.-made Patriot defense systems in the city of Haffa. So there's a lot of stuff now. Now, this one right here was interesting. Do you remember I had that vision of that B-2 spear? We talked about this. It's, what, has it been about a month ago? Kept seeing it. Had it twice while I was on the program. Listen to this. Breaking a U.S. Air Force B-2 spear strategic bomber, that is the stealth bomber, capable of carrying nuclear weapons, has arrived in uh, Unidad Air Force Base in Qatar amid escalation around Iran. I think that's interesting. This could be what he was pointing us to. This could definitely be what we call a time marker or something worse or something worse. Now, there's been a strong earthquake in the Philippines. It's a 7.0 magnitude. That just happened. Now, we're finding out also that this hurricane is headed uh, straight for Florida. It's going to go through Florida. So, keep the people of Florida in your prayers because it could be a long week for them. So, Make sure you keep them in your prayers. Let's see. You know, Lisa. Lisa's uh, got a really good channel on here, too. Watch Woman 65. She has a good Telegram channel. She's She don't update it all the time, but she does have some good stuff on here. She's definitely posted about the Wall Street's deep, and as Nasdaq drops 3% today. So the economy is still dropping, and it's probably about to drop a whole lot more if this thing goes hot. We're all pretty much see that it's going to. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? Mm -hmm. Third House bill in Congress. Uh, Unites and ties Biden's hands for attacking Iran, Hezbollah, Iran. And we talked about Lindsey Graham this morning. He was trying to get some stuff pushed through Congress this morning. The word will witness very important developments. So let's see what's going on here. In the next few hours, the world will witness extraordinary scenes and a very important development. This has come from Iran's channels. 
uh, Congress unites by uh, unties Biden's hands. This was what I was talking about this morning. We was listening to U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham introduced a bill on the eve of August congressional uh, recess that the world authorized President Biden to use military force against Iran if he determines that Iran has capabilities that threaten national security. In other words, a nuclear bomb. The president is authorized to use all necessary and appropriate force against the Islamic Republic of Iran, including nuclear bombs. In the process of processing it, a nuclear weapon that threatens the national security of the United States possesses a weapon grade enriched in uranium, yada, 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 if they have bologna sandwiches without peanut butter, whatever. Although Iran is not believed to possess nuclear weapons, they just admitted to having them a month ago. Does people not have a memory today? Really? It already has arsenals and its missiles that could carry a nuclear warhead in Iran to acquire one. If anybody thinks that Iran does not have a nuclear weapon, I've got beachfront property to sell you in West Virginia. On Wednesday, U.S. Defense Secretary Lord Austin said the United States was ready to defend Israel in the event of attack on Iran. Same day, Graham introduced a bill that would confirm that any escalation of by his blood would be considered an escalation by Iran and urges Congress and the president to use all diplomatic tools. No, he don't. He has major stock in all the war companies, and he is looking for any kind of war. He almost declared war with Mexico just a couple of months ago. Know who your enemies are and know what they're behind. Graham is, these people are no good. That's why we told you not to put your faith in man, because these politicians are as crooked as they get. On Thursday, Graham tweeted on X, it's time to start taking about uh, talking about the insult when it comes to Iran's threats against Israel and the United States. Like I said, this guy has major stock in all the defense industries, and he makes money, and he wants war. We all know war's coming. That's not a lie, but just don't be fooled by these people that act like they're doing it for Israel's well good. They're not, or our own countries. Sad but true. Earlier this week, Hamas leader Ishmael was assassinated in Tehran, Iran, and Hezbollah has vowed retaliation. As soon as they get off the table and quit eating their cocoa puffs. Okay. Zero hour. Israel gives emergency satellite phones to the Knesset members. France urges its citizens to leave Iran. When will this attack happen? That's what we're waiting on. Dramatic scenes unfolded late last night in Israel as the country's government gave satellite phones to irregular members of the Knesset, the parliament there. That's what they're called, the Knesset. In case of emergency communication blackout. Because remember, now, the one thing that they do say they have, that they've come out pretty much clearly and said that they have an EMP weapon, which Israel does too. At the same time, important government ministers were asked to go to the underground shelters. Hezbollah officials have turned off their cell phones and not responding to mediators trying to contain the escalation. All information is covering towards a uh, war between Israel and Hezbollah. They didn't learn from the last time Israel kicked their hind ends, that's for sure. A U.S. defense official said U.S. forces in the Middle East are taking uh, necessary steps to increase combat readiness and provide protection for U.S. and allied bases and troops uh, from both Iran and possibly Russia could get in the middle of this too. U.K. Security uh, Defense Secretary John Heasley arrived in Tel Aviv today to meet with Israel Defense Minister Gallant, with two discussing the Israel's military readiness and ability to defend the country on all fronts. Now, meanwhile, U.K. Chief and Defense Staff uh, Tony Radican met in Tel Aviv with Israel's Chief General Staff, where the Joint Secretary Assessment was held. Uh, on the threat of a possible Iran attack and cooperation between the two countries. Now, instructions to Israel citizens be prepared for fierce, fierce total war. So they're they're preparing for it. Now, they've been moving the Iron Dome up to the northern part and trying to keep some down the south. We've also been moving uh, destroyers and the aircraft carrier where we can isolate and literally try to stop this stuff before it gets there, just like we did last time. Israel's authorities are setting emergency special instructions to all citizens in the event of a full-scale war, as Iran has announced it will do in the next few hours. Now, Israel's authorities provide a whole range of possible scenarios, CNN reveals. At this TV channel emphasized the instructions primar primarily provide for the behavior of civilians when an alert is declared. 
In such cases, all citizens living in large cities must rush to bomb and rocket shelters at the first opportunity. They have to do within 90 seconds. Could you imagine living like that? They have to live like this every day. And the world tells them, it's okay, but you need to keep living like that. Just, what a horrible world. Get us out of here, Jesus. Residents should be prepared for power outage and, must, and, and last for several days, they're saying. When will the attack take place? Well, when, what we're waiting on. Washington Taylor Source said a report uh, reportedly spoken to Sky News Arabia. Imagine hours in the possibility of Iran has blood choosing the, the saddest day in Jewish calendar to hit back at Israel. Source said it's unlikely that Iran and allies would choose Tisha uh, of the anniversary of the destruction of the temple, which falls on August 12, 13, to respond to the killing on top political offices of uh, Hamas, Ishmael, and Hezbollah leader and the commander of Hamas military wing. Uh, Tisha is an annual day in fasting in the Jewish religion and uh, commemorates a number of disasters in Jewish history, most notably the destruction of the Solomon's Temple uh, the Babylonian, uh, by the uh, Babylon Empire and the Second Temple by the Roman Empire in Jerusalem. A senior Iran military commander said Thursday, Iran is allied militias are discussing how to avenge the killing. According to the media, the alliance has developed under the leadership of Iran, Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. And for further information, go to Psalms 83. That's what you're seeing. Leave immediately. Critical hours calling on citizens to leave Iran. France told their citizens still in Iran to leave the country as soon as possible because of the increased risk of military escalation between Israel and Tehran following the Hamas leaders' Uh, to Israel, the French uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which does not specify the number of French people who may be affected in this recommendation, recalls the whole of Iran territory has been put on red on the car to advise travelers not to go there. Therefore, we officially prevent French nationals from going to Iran. Who would want to go to Iran, really? Let's see. Here's that. Senator Graham urges accountability for Iran. This is what we was talking about earlier. U.S. Secretary Lindsey Graham, Republican, introduced the resolution Wednesday, today, holding the, uh, not today, even, I guess he did it Wednesday before all this stuff. So it's been two days ago. Should Hezbollah's uh, counterattack Israel lead to major regional conflict in Lebanon? The Biden administration has been reluctant to confront their Iran's regime terror proxy influence in the Middle East. Now, the updates from Hal Turner. See what we got here. IF airstrikes in Herman, northern Lebanon, near the Syrian border. This was we're going to do a, a backtrack of today. This is at three o'clock. Israel's near strike of the village of Kazar in the uh, Hermel district, close to the border of Syria. Uh, Kazar is located about 140 kilometers from Israel's borders, close to Damascus. It would mark one of the deepest Israel strikes in Lebanon amid the war. The IDF has struck the Khazar area before the U.S. Navy aircraft patrolling eastern Mediterranean coast. The United States Navy, Navy aircraft, a northern Grumman MQ-4C uh, Triton, which is an intelligence resignation number. I'm not going to give that. It's currently flying over the eastern Mediterranean coast. Another IDF strike in Lebanon, according to the reports, two targets were attacked uh, in Lebanon, and another target was attacked in Syria. Israel's airstrikes target the Al Dinar airport in the city of Homs in Syria. Israel launches a preemptive attack and destroys uh, Al Dinar airport near inside of Syria, according to the Arab reports. Many Hezbollah and Iran missiles have now been destroyed in that at location. A lot of the attacks, and at least five in number. U.S. military executive jet sent to Tel Aviv to evacuate diplomats, so they're getting the diplomats out of there. These nations so far have asked the citizens to leave Lebanon, Israel, and Iran. The United States, France, UK, Norway, Germany, Netherlands, Ireland, Sweden, and a partridge in a prepare tree. A lot of them. It's official. Islamic Republic of Iran Channel has officially announced that attacks on Israel is beginning, going to happen in the next couple of hours. Well, this is at 3 o'clock. It didn't happen. In coming hours, the world will witness extremely... Uh, uh, scenes that are very important developments down evidently didn't happen 
Updates for general public resume beneath green shaded area. And Iran has rejected all backdoor and friendly messages from countries to not retaliate against Israel. Retaliation is definite. Maritime and some problems in Iran that are witnessing large military movements involving the transportation of heavy military equipment. 425 today, just now the Iran channels stopped their normal broadcasting, started playing military marches. 615 Bulletin Syrian leader Bashar Assad has offered the uh, ordered the Syrian army to prepare for a possible war in the Golan Heights. Now that's important because that is a place that the, some bloody battles have been fought over that Golan Heights. The official Twitter account from Iran's leader uh, penned the tweet saying the Zionist regime is a goner. Uh, he might want to read the Bible because that's not going to happen. Hyler in Europe for attacks on Israel and Jewish targets. Greek authorities elevate alert. Local reports say warnings relayed by foreign intel services over the threat of immediate terror attacks in France. Security boosted near synagogues due to Mideast tensions. Keep your eyes on France. Just got a feeling. White House official. Iran situation getting worse by the hour? Yet yeah, and hasn't. Even bothered asking Biden to come back from Delaware, and Kamala has been ca uh, been counting Wall Street since 900 this morning nonstop. Blake and Austin are now and better lack of terms. POTUS and the VP. That's a scary thought. That's dumb and dumber. Covert intel, imaginary intelligence, and signal intelligence from all over the intelligence community. Showing something unprecedented is going to occur between Iran and Israel. Yeah, it's also in the Bible. Just read it. It's pretty good. The amount of hardware that the IRGC, Hamas, Hezbollah, and other groups are moving into place are impressive. Yeah, I believe that's as far as I can throw it. One, the U.S. Uh, Air Force B-2 Spirit Stealth Strategic Bomber, which can carry nuclear weapons, has arrived. We talked about that. That's something we need to keep our eyes on. Update 640, Israel returned the threat to Iran. In the event of an attack on Israel, Iran's gas and oil fields will be destroyed. Now, that's huge. Now, that will send the gas through the roof, everything. Now, we know that some event comes that makes the whole world turn against Israel. That's what we're looking for right now. This could be it. If they would raise gas or let off a nuclear bomb, it would definitely cause that. And that's when I believe the rapture will take place, will be pulled. That's what we're looking for, because the Bible says it's going to, all of them is going to turn against Israel. The Antichrist will come in and broker a deal to fix it. But first of all, they're going to tick a lot of people. They already have. Almost all the world's right now coming against them as it is. So this right here would put it over the edge, but we can't be here. We've got to be God. That's why we tell you the rapture of the church is any moment. It's all there. It's written. Iran diplomat in Israel has crossed the red lines in response to surprising and strong uh, Secretary of Defense has ordered the U.S. Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group and the U.S. Third Air Roosevelt currently on deployment in the central areas of responsibility. At North Korea leader, Rocket Man, will always stand by Iran. He will say anything to get his name in the news. All right. So what have we learned tonight? The world is moving against Israel, which like the Bible has laid out for us. What does that tell us? That tells us that these are good days and we're getting ready to go home. Now, a lot of people don't want to hear that, but that's just the truth. We are going home. If they don't like it. There's nothing we can do about it. Get on an ark before it's too late if you're lost, okay? Those of you who are saved and ready to go home, well, this is the best days of our lives because we don't have to deal with these crazies anymore. We can go home and leave this world to kill on itself like it's good for Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future, he died, was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Trust only in Jesus. Don't take our word for it that we're at the end. You go to Jesus and have him confirm it to you. He'll show you, just like he's been showing everybody, that we're at the end. This is not going to keep going on, people. Okay? We are at the end. I was taught from a little boy to watch Israel, and you will know. Paul even said it. He said, you don't have to write to me. You'll know when you're in the last season. We know it. We don't have a doubt. He was like, how are you so sure? Because I know scripture. I read it. I've studied. I've been doing this now. I can't tell you how many hours I put into it. And literally, and for the first time since I've been doing this, 
I don't have no questions. I know we're there. I don't even think about it. I'm just waiting it out now to go home and coming on here twice a day to let people know that we're leaving. But I know we're leaving. I don't have no questions. I don't need no more signs. I don't need anything. I know that this is it. I don't backtrack. I don't go change the year every time that I feel like I'm wrong. I don't because I have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's telling me we're at the end. We can see it. You can almost smell it. We are at the end. You've got to either trust Jesus or trust man. I trust Jesus. Jesus has given us all the signs. He's been talking to so many children, telling them that this is it. I want to trust Jesus. Now, everybody else, they don't, they don't trust the Holy Spirit, but I do. He's never been wrong with me. He's always helped me. So I'm going to take the Holy Spirit. A lot of these people, if it's not their own understanding, they don't want to, they don't care. If it's got to be their way or the highway, if it ain't the way they see the rapture going to happen, it ain't going to, I don't care about that junk. I don't care who likes me, who don't like me. I'm just on here to get people on a boat before it's too late. I could care less about that junk because we're going home. I don't care. All I do is warn. That's what I do. I'm a watchman on the wall. The signs are there. Everything we've studied, everything, the data that we have gotten, everything points that this is about to end any time. But we've, we've understood the warnings. God has warned the world over and over and over. And here we are. But people will still choose to not listen. Just like he said in the last days, they'll go off for all these people that tickle their ears. And they'll be left here. So listen, if you're lost, do not wait another day. We have the salvation prayer inside the comments. You know, make sure that you get on this boat before it's too late. Because I'm telling you, just like Noah told them in the day, they would not listen until it was too late. Do not wait too long, okay? We don't want to see anybody left behind. Nobody. We want to see people on the boat in a better world where you don't have to deal with all this. No more evil. No more of this garbage. This world is not our home. This world's on fire. There's no saving it. It's over. People just ain't figured it out yet. And they won't until it's too late. Put Jesus first. And he is the only way. That's it. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about him. He's already done it. When he got on the cross, he finished it. Now you just got to believe in what he did for us. And you can go home and bypass all this evil that's about to be unleashed upon this earth. That's why I told you, don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody. Put your trust in Jesus, but everybody puts their trust in man. And that is what's going to cause them to be in a lot of trouble. So trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. And I promise you, you'll never go wrong. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.